All right, first and foremost, I want to give call to all Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shadis, all praise to the Most High God. In the name of His only begotten Son, who the Word entered the cause Jesus Christ, is your brother, Tazza Pony, by Yahweh, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shadis, with a quick edifying video. Haven't done um, a video in a while, you know. Um, so, you know, like the spirit hopped on me um, to go ahead and go into this because uh, if you just read the scriptures, you know, the, the Levitical law or um, in Deuteronomy, I think that's 14 and 9, where it talks about the aquatic life, the fish that are clean and unclean. Uh, without going into the Hebrew, you're not going to get an understanding of what it means when it talks about fish um, having scales. Um, so I found the article. And in regards to Deuteronomy 14 and um, what we find in Leviticus about the aquatic life that's clean for us to eat is that when you go into that Hebrew word that says scales, it references a coat of mail. A coat of mail covers the whole body. This is how a clean fish that you can eat is supposed to look. Tuna doesn't look like this. Okay. Yes, tuna does have scales, but it doesn't. The, the, the body of the tuna is not covered in scales, right? So I found the article on um, what's this scripture truth ministries dot com that goes into the breakdown in depth, right? So we're going to go ahead and read it. Then we're going to get the verses going to the Hebrew. Then we're going to close out. I don't want to make this a long video. Y'all know how I get out because um, I also know Jake has a very short attention span. So I'm going to try to get through this as quick as possible through spirit and power. So tunas and flatfish is unclean. All right. Most Jewish rabbinical authorities have determined that tunas are the scum bread fish, bonito, mackerel, waho, and flatfishes, brill, flounder, fluke, halibut, magrim, palis, skate, sole, and turbot are clean kosher fish. This article will challenge that determination, arguing the case against tunas and flatfishes being considered as clean kosher fish and will declare them unclean. All right. Uh, let me go back. I think I went down a little bit too much. Um, okay. Most Jewish kosher certification authorities state that in order for a fish to be script scripturally clean or kosher, it must have fins and scales. They have also determined that the types of scales that clean kosher fish must have are uh, cetinoid or cycloid scales that can be easily removed with fingers or a knife without causing damage to the to the skin of the fish they also have determined that a fish without any amount of scales even just a few or with any amount of scales salakia even just a few minute or microscopic scales is considered a scale fish right and we know that tuna has microscopic scales okay Jewish rabbinical authorities have cla have classified tunas and uh, other scum bread fish, bonito, mackerel, wao, and flatfishes, brill, dab, flounder, fluky, halibut, palais, sole, and turbot as clean fish, based on the fact that these fish have some type or uh, or cycloid scales on their bodies. So this is Deuteronomy 14 and 9 through 10 and Leviticus 11 and 9 through 12 in the new KJV. These are these you may eat of all that are in the waters. You you may eat all that have fins and scales and whatever does not have fins and scales. You shall not eat. It is unclean for you. Lost in translation. The English word scales is translated from the Hebrew word. Qua. Quasqueez Quasqueezeth That's the Yiddish anyway um, So I don't care about messing it up um, In Leviticus uh, And Deuteronomy Alright uh, Refers to specific types of fish scales in Hebrew Okay uh, Means the Imbricated overlapping scales of fish um, With a Hebraic understanding <clears throat> of specific type fish scales the dietary commands for clean fish translated to English 
should be understood as Deuteronomy 14 and 9 through 10 and Leviticus 11 and 9 through 12. These you may eat of all that are in the waters. You may eat all that have fins and overlapping shedding scales and whatever does not have fins and overlapping shedding scales you shall not eat it is unclean for you right and let me show you where they're getting this understanding from because they went into the hebrew word and we're going to see what it means all right this is that same hebrew word right and it's strong's what is it uh h7193 Let's get the definition by reduplication from a unused root, meaning to shell off as bark, a scale of a fish, hence coat of mail, right? As composed of or covered with joint plates of metal, male scale. Now it's referencing a coat of mail and the coat of mail looks like this, right? So if the fish skin doesn't look like this with scales all over its body, it's not saying that it's clean it's unclean all right so that's where they're getting you know um, that understanding from which I agree with um, this is a uh, scripture describes scales or something like scales as scales that fall off by themselves Acts uh, 9 and 18 immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales and he received his sight at once and he arose and was baptized okay Clean, huh? Oh. Salakia. Oh. One second. Bear with me. All right. <clears throat> what does scripture mean by fins and scales? Does it mean any scales or fins and scales covering the body of the fish? All right. Scale any of the numerous plates made of various substances resembling enamel or dentine covering the bodies of fishes the definition of scales in regards to fish indicates that scale fish are fish whose bodies are covered with overlapping scales rudimentary rudimentarily a lot rudimentary undeveloped scaled tuna scumbread fish and half scaled flatfish should not be considered scaled fish. These words of scripture and scales, Leviticus 11 and 9 through 12, Deuteronomy 14 and 9 through 10, should be understood to mean an overlapping scales covering the fish, not an any scales. Many will insist that if a fish has fins with any scales, it is to be considered a, co a clean kosher fish. Most fish have what are called scales or something that resembles scales. Catfish, some have scales in childhood but lose them in adulthood. Catfish, some have scutes, which are scale like bony plates covering most of their body that are embedded deep with, within their skin. Sharks have plactoid scales that are made of bone and are embedded. In their skin to say that if a fish has any scales or any type of scales it is then a clean kosher fish is an incorrect simplistic understanding catfish and sharks have scale like structures in their skin and are rightly regarded as unclean fish a liberal interpretation could view the bony armor plating of catfish and shark and, and sharks as scales but these are not specific free falling overlapping scales that scripture refers to in regards to clean fish. The dietary, which they're talking about the dietary law, commands were given to the Hebrews at Sinai. They were issued to them in a language and terminology that they that they that they understood at the time. Tunas and flatfishes would not be fish that these Hebrews would have considered as clean scale fish. These Hebrews would not have in, inspected fish with, with magnifying glasses or microscopes, which didn't exist at the time, to check for scales. They would have observed tuna as a fish without visible overlapping scales, or if they spotted the very few 
visible scales that a tuna possesses, then they would have viewed tuna as a fish that is primarily a scale less smooth bodied skinned fish. These Hebrews would have inspected flatfishes and regarded them as unclean due to their due to their scales not being easily removable on their rough tops on their rough top side skin and being scale less on their smooth bottom side skin. A bald man usually has some hair on his head, yet a man who is primarily bald is not considered a man with hair. Likewise, a rudimentary, undeveloped, non-overlapping scale tuna fish or, or half-scale flatfish should not be considered a fish with scales by definition of scriptural terminology. Scales help prevent clean fish from becoming infested with parasitic worms, rudimentary scale fish that are primarily scaleless, smooth body skin fish or half scale flatfishes are not protected from parasitic infection from, from parasitic infections, Salakia, uh, throughout the flesh of their bodies, primarily scale scaleless fish or half scale fish are typically infested with parasitic worms throughout their flesh. Clean, fully scaled fish such as sal such as salmon can also become prone to acquiring parasitic worm infections. However, parasitic infections in clean fish are typically restricted to their exposed areas. Their gills, parasites enter and infect the gill slit areas of clean fish, but do not penetrate their scales, infecting their flesh. And generally, the parasites do not work their way from the gills into the body and flesh or clean salakia into the body and flesh of clean fish. The flesh of clean fish typically remains parasite free and safe to eat. In recent times, in recent times, clean fish have been raised in tight quarters to be harvested for food in commercial fish farms. Clean fish live unhealthier lives in such as farms are more prone to illness and increased parasitic worm infections and are generally less healthy than wild caught fish therefore it is preferable to purchase wild caught clean fish as the healthier choice when possible rather than fish harvested from commercial fish farms tuna fish tuna have a tuna have a few small visible scales on the sides of their head and have rudimentary undeveloped scales embedded under the surface of the skin throughout their body rudimentary scales are extremely small almost microscopic non-overlapping scales tuna are primarily a scaleless smooth body skin fish which is why they are unclean tunas as a fish that is primarily a scaleless smooth body skin fish are often infested with parasites Tuna does not have overlapping scales covering the vast majority of their large bodies to shed them from parasitic worms and toxins that can easily penetrate their unprotected skin. Um, let me go back up. Wait a minute. Uh, unprotected skin. Okay, here we go. Tuna have varying unsafe levels of mercury content, something that shouldn't have if something they shouldn't have if they were a clean fish or safe for human consumption. Atlantic bluefin tuna, tuna sushi, has the highest levels of mercury of any type of tuna. Several several studies have determined that mercury can cause health problems for adults, including an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and neurological disorders pregnant women women who might become pregnant and children have been advised to not consume tuna as the mercury in tuna can damage the developing nervous system of infants and children the dangerous mercury content in tuna is a red flag that indicates that there is something not quite kosher about this fish Unclean characteristics of tuna scumbread fish. 
Tuna and other scum bread fish, bonitos, mackerels, wahoos, are unclean because they have rudimentary undeveloped scales and are primarily scaleless, smooth based skin fish. The unclean characteristics and features of tuna of tunas and other scumbread fish are presented as further evidence to support the viewpoint that tuna and other scumbread fish are unclean. In endothermic, warm blooded. Tunas are endothermic, meaning they are warm blooded and partially warm blooded. Tuna can maintain a body temperature higher than that of surrounding of the surrounding water. Tuna are closely related to other large endothermic unclean billfish. Endothermic warm warm bloodness is a characteristic trait that tuna share with billfish, marlins, sailfish, sharks, spearfish, swordfish, and marine mammals, dolphins, porpoises, seals, and whales. Finlets, tunas, and other scumbread fish have finlets located on the dorsal and ventral rear top and bottom of their body between their dorsal and anal fins and the casual fin. These finlets are rigid, non-retraceable appendages that are somewhat crustacean like in appearance and texture. Any fish with any kind of non-retractable fins like sharks and whales have should be considered unclean. Toxicity. <clears throat> fish without scales have a larger level of toxicity in their flesh than fish with scales. Tuna and mackerel fish have very high levels of mercury content that can cause long-term health problems for adults, pregnant women, infants, and children. Pacific bluefin tunas are top predators and such as they are superb swimmers. They swim across the Pacific Ocean during their life cycles before being before being caught, packaged, and sold for human consumption. Uh, Pacific bluefin tunas have been contaminated with trace amounts of radioactivity acquired from the Japanese Fukushima nuclear reactor accident of March 2011 and continue used to leak radiation into the Pacific Ocean to this day. Flatfish, flatfish, brill, flounder, fluke, halibut. Migrim, Palice, Skate, Soleil, and uh, Turbo are similar looking bottom dwelling, bottom feeding, half scale fish. The scales of flatfish are embedded in their skin and cannot be easily removed. The top dark sides of the fish have rough leathery type scales that can only be removed with a knife. The bottom white side of the fish is typically very smooth and has very few scales. If any or they are embedded under their skin and cannot be removed. All flat fishes are compressed laterally and spend most of their life lying and swimming along the bottom of the, the bottom of the waters on their side. Lying on the seafloor makes flatfish susceptible to parasitic infection. But not all worms in the flesh of flatfish originate on the outside. Through their unscaled bottom side, as bottom feeders, flatfish eat parasites and contain worms that often will work their way through the intestines and into the flesh of these fish. Unclean characteristics of flatfish. Flatfishes share many of the characteristics and features of other unclean creatures. The primary reason flatfish are unclean is because they do not have free falling overlapping fish scales covering their body, but have embedded scales that can only be removed with a knife on the top side of their bodies and are smooth body and scaleless on their bottom side. The unclean characteristics and features of flatfish are presented as further evidence to support the viewpoint that flatfish are unclean. Uh, ambush predators. Flatfish are ambush, lie, and wait predators. They position themselves on the seafloor, often camouflage, then lie wait and ambush their prey as they crawl or swim by. All ambush, lie, and wait predator birds, insects, and mammals are unclean. Flatfish are ambush, lie, and wait predator. 
fish that are unclean camouflage uh, camouflage flatfish have the abilities to camouflage their skin color to match their surroundings camouflage is a trait that flatfish share with unclean uh, chameleons cuttlefish and octopuses sand dwellers flatfish relax and cover themselves in sand or on the seafloor to camouflage and lie in wait as ambush predators flatfish that wallow in the sand share similar characteristic of unclean female swine that wallows in the mire uh all right um basically y'all get the idea i mean you know it, it basically brought out what, what we needed to bring out about unclean fish as tuna and flat fishes um just like the article says you know ain't no ain't no hebrew israelites eating no damn catfish man all right they have some scales uh a shark you gonna eat some damn shark you gonna eat some dolphin you know they have some scales they don't have scales that cover their whole body though so therefore they are unclean you know uh they're biblically unclean, you know, as according to the Bible, as according to the Torah is what we live our life by. So you can't just go, you know, oh, they have fins and scales and that's just it. Because when we go into that Hebrew word, that's for scales. It's talking about scales that cover the whole body of the fish. All right. So with that, I'm going to give call. Hello, you how about you? And say shalom.